Electronic products make our modern world possible. From the marvel of your mobile phone, to the laptop on your desk, to the GPS in your smartwatch, affordable and reliable electronics make these products possible. Of the many factors which can affect the reliability of electronic products, temperature is probably the easiest for the consumer to relate to, but which they may not understand the effect of. A majority of electronics failures are caused by thermal mechanical stresses. High temperatures can reduce the effectiveness of components to reject excess heat. Changes in temperature combined with differences in the coefficient of thermal expansion of the materials used can cause fatigue failures of solder joints and plated through holes. Batteries can become less effective at low temperatures. For these reasons and others, producers and users of electronic products study the effects of temperature on their products by testing them within temperature chambers. Two basic types of temperature tests are used, steady state and cycling. During a steady state test, the temperature in the chamber is slowly ramped to the temperature of the test and then held at that temperature for an extended time. At high temperatures, phenomena such as creep can become apparent. Many electronic products that may be subjected to low temperatures can be tested for low temperature wake up after a 24 hour soak after which the product is switched on and evaluated for proper function. Thermal cycling tests can introduce very high stresses into printed circuit boards. A thermal cycle test will cycle between two temperature extremes, T min and T max at a certain ramp rate. This can vary from as slowly as 2 to 3 degrees C per minute to as fast as 20 degrees C per minute in an agree chamber. Thermal shock chambers, where the product is physically moved from a hot chamber to a cold chamber, can experience ramp rates of 50 to 100 degrees C per minute or higher if liquid nitrogen injection is used. After each ramp, the chamber temperature will be held at the temperature extreme for a short duration, usually to permit the temperature of the product to achieve a stable condition. Thermal cycling works to expose the differences in the coefficient of thermal expansion of the materials used in PCBs. The board material, typically glass fibers in a resin matrix, expands and contracts at a different rate than the components mounted to the board. This can introduce stresses high enough to exceed the tensile or shear strength of some materials. Additionally, each temperature cycle is also a stress cycle on the materials. And even if the stresses do not exceed the tensile or shear strength, they can be high enough to cause fatigue failures.